channel. My name is Lizzie if you're new and I would really appreciate it as a smaller channel if you want to subscribe. That would mean so much to me. Today is the first day or the first month I guess of my 2020 haul. Um, I think I'm just going to continue uh, this year with my monthly hauls unless it's something significant like a Sephora sale haul or something like that. That would be a little bit bigger. Um, but so I just think um, the monthly hauls kind of just long enough to maybe hopefully not be too long and <laughs> uh, short enough so it's not like you're wasting your time or anything but I just love hauls I think they're so much fun and um, you know just letting things accumulate and see like what I just picked up during the whole month um, today was my 20 week ultrasound I cannot believe I'm already like halfway through this pregnancy uh, second trimester has been going pretty great so no more migraines or anything um so his measurements and everything looked great uh the uh, doctor was saying and he they said he looks like he's gonna be a tall boy he's got long limbs and everything so so we will see how it goes but yeah so that's just a quick little update about my pregnancy right now if you were interested um but yeah let's get into this haul um let's see so I told you, I think I, some of this was at the end of December, but it didn't like arrive um, in time. So this was uh, the other Pat McGrath Star Wars palette, the Rise of Skywalker, the red packaging six pan um, that sold out super fast. And so I have all of them that she released from this collection. So I think those are just really pretty purples and gorgeous shimmers, of course. So I got that one in the mail. I also got the lipstick cases, the ones in the special packaging. I, I think she released maybe two in each packaging or something, but I don't know. I only needed one of each to have the packaging itself. This is the Lip Fetish in Gold Astral. So it's the C-3PO design in the all gold kind of chrome packaging, which I just think is gorgeous. Some of these are just like... um re-promoted shades it's little star wars on the back um so they're not new for the packaging which is too bad but like i said i only got it for collector's purposes this is the r2d2 little box there i think this one is really fun it's just like that where, oops, that, oh, <laughs> where the mole is supposed to be um the weight packaging in the blue and this is the shade, oh, this is just the clear lip balm, which I already have. The blue rim there. And then the last one was in this red packaging. I don't know, it's supposed to be like, I don't know Star Wars, so I'm not really sure which character is supposed to be nude astral. this red with the black so super fun that really pretty pink kind of shift there and then of course with this collection she re-released the decadence palette um eyeshadow palette in the special gold chrome packaging so i have that here's the gold box and i had said in Instagram that I sold actually the Decadence Palace that I had. I only had one that I actually like used once and then um, I managed to grab when it came like on Sephora on sale or something during the summer. Um, the prices were just crazy ridiculous so I just you know couldn't resist and had to just sell them but this is the nice Star Wars packaging that I'm going to be keeping of course so I'm glad I now can have this in my collection, even though I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, like I said. But just to have this palette again as a collector's piece is gorgeous. So then, of course, with um, the new year, Lunar New Year started. And I'm liking that more and more brands are doing a Lunar New Year uh, collection, or not collection, but like collectible piece that they're releasing, depending on the animal and what year it is so the Becca did one they did one last year year of the pig so this is the year of the rat highlighter that they created it's just that super cute imprint of that rat Ugh. I, I really like the pig one they 
that they did last year, but the rat is very cute too. And Mac did a Lun Lunar New Year collection. Um, I only got the highlighter mainly because of the imprint. So even though it's Year of the Rat, they did this awesome dragon imprint that is just so intricate and like detailed and that is just amazing. And this is what the outside packaging looks like. So of course I had to get this. This was the Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. So this was just a re-promoted shade for their highlighter. Um, so I got those two for Lunar New Year. And then Estee Lauder did some kind of sister collection. I'm not really sure what they're calling it, but it's called Act 4. Um, and it has this really pretty matte marble packaging. So I got the Spotlight Highlighter, which I just think is beautiful. Marble, pinky, gold design there. That is just stunning. That kind of pattern. So I picked that up. And then, um, if you watched my Beautylish Extra Large unboxing, uh, you will see that I did not appreciate my box at all. The two items I decided to keep from that, which I mentioned in the video, are the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Um, I haven't tried anything from Good Molecules, and... I really like primers, so I just figured I would keep that and try that. And the Sonia G Worker 3 Makeup Brush, Eyeshadow Brush. So I decided I would keep that. I might already have it. I'm not sure. But, you know, these were the two items that I felt were worthy to keep <laughs> out of all of that. So that was from the box. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, Clinique actually released a Lunar New Year highlighter this year for the first time, and it was a little mouse imprint in gold in one of their highlighters, um, like cheek pop style. I, I don't know. It's not on my desk here, so I don't know if I already featured that in my last month's video, if I got it in time before the end of December, but I must have if I put it away, probably, but anyway, that was like a huge hit and sold out really fast too. Um... My friend Susie ordered this for me from Selfridges. It's the Dior, what is it called? The Glow Vibes Luminizer. So they released, I think this is their spring collection. And it's just this gorgeous baked gelée highlighter and this like peachy coral shade with that music note for Dior. They have a lighter pinky shade that I might get as well, but I don't really know if I need both of them. Um, and I also picked up this Morphe uh, eyeshadow palette in Make and Bank, um, which was on Selfridges. Uh, I think it was released here, but it was sold out on the Morphe website. So I decided to get it from Selfridges and I just couldn't resist these green shades, of course. So I got that from Selfridges. And then I was being really good and not ordering from... Sephora. Um, I was just like kind of waiting for like a good promotion, gift with purchase or something. And they finally had one. Um, well, actually, I went to the store first in Vegas when I was there last weekend. So I picked up a couple items from there. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't get gift with purchase at the store. But I swatched the new Fenty Beauty um, Snap Shadows, the six, I think, no, eight varieties that she released um, that snapped together. And there's six shades in each um, palette. So I got the Cool Neutrals. Um, what's this little number two in the backs? The purples on there. So it's just super cute little mini eyeshadows there. Cool Neutrals. And then I also, this one um, I just had to pick up. It's the Cadet. So it has like the olive green mustardy kind of shades so that but I am pretty proud of myself that I waited kind of a while until I actually ordered these because I was actually thinking of getting them right as they released but I was like you know why don't you just wait you're going to Vegas you're gonna be able to go in store swatch them see how they are and then you could decide. And I guess they snap. Yeah. No. You just have to make sure both of them snap. So. Kind of bulky. But I don't mind. I think that's a cute idea. If you just needed something to travel with. 
So yeah, I got those two. And then I also got in store the eyeliners by, by Fenty. And it's um, Creamy Color Intense Glide Smudge Resistant Water Resistant Long Wear Eyeliner. So I think these are $22. And I mean, just watching them, they were super pigmented, super creamy. And I think they might rival I haven't worn them on my actual eye yet but um they might rival my favorite which is the milk makeup uh eyeliner or urban decay those are you know phenomenal and so these might just happen to be just as good as those so we'll see um so this this beautiful kind of lilac packaging and it's like a triangle shape and it has the colors on the end so I picked up the shades see it space cookie which is the shimmery kind of dark brown chocolate color and puppy eyes which is like a shimmery kind of copper color so the only thing is is that these aren't sharpen sharp like you can't sharpen them like the um urban decay but they're the twist up just like the milk one so let me swatch it so this one space cookie Oh, and they are super long wearing because I tried to remove it with a makeup wipe and I scrubbed and scrubbed with that in the store and I could not get them to budge. And then I got home and I tried to, or got to the Airbnb and I tried to scrub it off with soap and water and it still like took a while. So makeup remover, more makeup remover and it finally, and it finally came off. And this is puppy eyes. See that kind of shimmery gold color so these will take a while to wear off um i picked up the natasha denona mini glam eyeshadow palette the little five pan i just really thought these were pretty and nice kind of cool neutral tones for the travel size so i picked that up And then in Vegas, we were by um, the cosmetics company outlet, um, the outlets there. So I got a couple of Tom Ford items since they were super discounted. I got the eyeliner in La Aventura, this uh, the Tom Ford Soleil collection. It comes with um, a little white sharpener, which actually is pretty kind of weighty. So that's nice to have a little bougie sharpener. And eyeliner itself so it's the dual ended eyeliner in this white packaging and you get like a kind of champagne off-white kind of gold color and then the other side is this gorgeous green color like jungle green so so I picked those were creamy and watch nice too so I picked that up I also got this Tom Ford universal appeal lip lacquer um, it's just kind of like this nude shade here and it's just like a really gorgeous shade and I, I like the formula when I swatched it I've never tried one of these so it's like it says lip lacquer liquid matte um, I mean when swatched just kind of looks like a cream shiny liquid lipstick but I don't know maybe it dries down a little bit matte so we'll see I'm not sure I didn't feel like it was drying or anything so it's not like your typical matte and I got a MAC um Isabel Toledo face brush because um it was super on sale and I never got the face brush in this collection and I just thought it was super cute so it's just a little face brush here with the design of the eyes and face so that was the Toledo collection. I don't know when that came out. A few years ago? I purchased, like, I think a couple of the cheek palettes that were on eBay or something when I first started collecting makeup. So I got that at the COO. And then, since I didn't get any Holy Frog in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, I found this for sale on Mercari. Um, somebody was selling it, like, super discounted. Um, probably from her Lucky Bag that she just decided she wasn't going to use. And it's the Superior Omega Nutritive Gel Wash. So I figured, you know, get it while it's cheap from this Lucky Bag purchases. And I'll give that a go and try that. 
super cute packaging too. And then a, <laughs> my friend Susie, um, she's always so on top of everything. And I really wanted the Trend Mood um, subscription. Not, it's not a subscription, a monthly subscription, but it's a Trend Mood beauty box that she just started um, last month, I guess. And it's kind of new products that she'll include for a price, but she'll release and tell you what's going to be included in the box. So you can decide if you want to, you know, actually purchase it or not and not be like surprised and kind of waste your money. So I skipped the first box. I just didn't feel like I really needed anything from that. But the second box looked so amazing. And I was like, as soon as I saw the first item they revealed, which is the Farsali um, primer, face primer. Um, I just knew I wanted to get it because those are like $54 and you get a full size one in this subscription box plus like four or five other items. So I knew right away I wanted to get it. Uh, and it just, it was like the lucky bag. It just sold out like within minutes. I tried to, I had it, I think in my cart and then it's just like, was like, oh, sorry, this item is not available anymore. So I was so bummed, but Susie, my friend, like I said, she's always on top of it. She managed to get one and I just asked her, I was like, if there's anything you're not going going to keep for yourself, like I would definitely buy it from you. These are the two items I was like most interested in. And she was like, oh yeah, for sure. So the Farsali um, I got from her, which is this liquid powder oil balancing serum with French pink, pink clay. So I just thought that sounded really intriguing. I don't have any like full size for Farsali products. I think I got like one of their little minis before. Um, but because of the price, I just like never wanted to buy the full size. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be like liquid. And then as it dries down, it feels like a powder on your skin to absorb oil and kind of mattify it. So I thought that was like a really intriguing formula to try. And then I asked her if she, you know, was going to keep the Dominique Cosmetics um, Latte 2 palette for herself. And she said, you know, if I do, it just like end up sitting in a drawer unused. So yeah, I can definitely sell that to you. So this is the Latte 2 palette. I don't know. I just really like this formula and I really wanted <laughs> this palette, even though it is pretty similar to the Latte 1 um, that I have. But I just, I don't know, I can't resist my shadow palette, so... So like I said, pretty neutrals with these beautiful shimmers and then some pops of color over here. So I just thought that was a really pretty palette. And like these palettes are like almost $50 too. And the price of the whole box was like, I think was shipping $55 or something. So I was like, ugh, that was just such a good box. Like I wish I had more to, to go around. Um, I placed a small Ulta order. I, I didn't place an Ulta order for a while too. It's just like kind of getting over the holidays and all the shopping and everything. So just giving myself some time. And so I got this flower day glow highlighting glaze, um, in the shade day, glow, well, like day glow. <laughs> and I heard actually flower beauty is being removed from Ulta. And I think it's only going to be sold, I don't know, online or something. Um, but this is like a cream highlighter. So I'm not going to swatch it just yet because I still have to take pictures on Instagram and everything. And also from Ulta, I picked up this little cute set. It's the Coca-Cola Lip Smacker set. And I just love Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's so hard not to drink it, um, especially while pregnant. But So I decided to get some Coca-Cola scented flavor items. Um, you get a lip balm, a lip gloss, a lip scrub, and the cosmetic bag. So I thought that was a cute set that was already like really discounted. So here's a little bag and I haven't had anything from Lip Smacker in like since middle school. So it's very reminiscent. Oh yeah. Mm. It smells like Coke. It smells like, it actually, it's almost smells like the effervescence of the bubbles and everything. This cute little lip gloss. Is it red? Oh yeah, it is red. Ugh, it smells like candy Coke and the lip scrub so can't drink coke I could at least somehow get that flavoring a little bit oh also from Ulta it was the skin the skin I forget what the the monthly skin deals. I don't know. The skin, <laughs> when they're having skincare products like half off or something um, all month. So I picked up the Lancome um, 
eye makeup remover in like the medium size because I was like $15 and normally they're $30. So I've got one of those for backup. And then, so I did some damage online for Sephora. Um, oh, well, before I got into that, I got the Chantecai, um Hummingbird Eyeshadow Quad. There's two that they released, um, the cool version in the blue packaging and the warm version in the green packaging. And I just like these shades a little bit more. They're pretty small for... The whole packaging itself it kind of reminds me of the Rowan eyeshadows I don't have any of those but like the pans are like super small and circular in this like big square packaging but it's mostly just for the packaging and I plan to get the face powder as well um I'm just waiting for like a sale or something to go on since these are pretty pricey okay last are, are kind of a Sephora haul um after purchasing in store they finally did have a good deal online where it was gift with purchase I think if you spend 75 or more you get five deluxe size items and so I did that twice <laughs> so I got like little deluxe size samples of the Ren uh, clean jelly oil cleanser this was a full size in the um, trend move box as well that I missed the Dr. Jart tea treatment moisturizer so a good size of that the Kate Somerville exfoliate the cool uh, no Moroccan oil body souffle moisturizer an Anastasia brow gel in dark brown, Glam Glow Bright Eyes eye cream. So I just thought, well, I'm going to get these items that I ordered eventually. Might as well get this good promotion going on. So of course I picked up, well, I picked up another Fenty eyeliner because I just love that formula so much. I was like, I need another shade. And I just realized that some of my um, purple eggplant shades were dried out, so I didn't really have a purple eyeliner to go to. So this is the shade Perpetrator, and it's the matte, matte shade. They have a sparkly purple one too, but I decided to get the matte. So that's the purple one on the far left. And I decided to get for my loves list the Kogendo, Kogendo? whatever uh face powder in the natural lighting powder so I get this big face powder i have so many face powders i really don't need another one but i just wanted to get this so <laughs> and it comes with a nice little face puff and it's sealed and it's kind of it looks like a peachy kind of neutral shade but i don't i don't know it was the only one for sale so i don't think it's actually gonna give you any color I think it should be translucent but I've heard very good things about this from like Michelle Wong of course who knows all about the luxury brands and then um Anastasia's uh Norvina's um new little mini palette came out so I picked that up which is the mini pro pigment volume three I just love the packaging with these cherries oh it's just so cute the colors are a little bit out there, a little bit, um, not really my typical shades, but like I said, I love the packaging and I think these little palettes are just super easy and cute to travel with. So why not give this one a go? I can make some cute little fun, colorful look. And then the second order, the new Natasha Denona <laughs> came out. So I had to get that. It's the Natasha Denona Love Palette. So it's the same size as her Sunrise palette that she released in the spring, um, where it's smaller pans for like half the price of her larger 28 pan um, or larger palettes, um, like the Lila palette and Sunset palette. So this is the Love palette, and it's just these beautiful pinks and mauves and purples. And some people were kind of disappointed that there weren't more like reds and pinks, but I think this color setup is really nice so you can make kind of like a neutral look or like add some shimmer and color with the red and the purple so I can't wait to try that I saw um Wayne Goss do swatches and talk about the palette and he he liked it and said they were very creamy there's a little bit of kick up but they blended super well and the mattes were really nice too and then I wasn't really gonna get this at first it's the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette her new cheek palette with the the gorgeous packaging that's pretty much probably why I got it 
um, too, but I didn't want to get it right away because I just bought her other four pan cheek palette during the Beautylish Black Friday sale. So I was like, oh, it's pretty similar. Do I really need another one? But the packaging got me, of course, and the shades are different. So that's my justification. So you got the two cream products up top and then these, this highlighter and this like kind of blush topper there. So yes, that was everything for January. I mean, I do have an Ulta order coming. Um, it won't arrive though till next week. And I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll just do a little short video dedicated to that because I used some points on that and they had a 20% off coupon. So very excited for that to come. But yeah, this was pretty much it for January. I think it was a lot less than I usually get for the month. Um, usually these videos are like 45 minutes to an hour long. So I think I did pretty well controlling myself for January at least. So yeah, that was all. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. I still have to film my larger eyeshadow palette collection. I just trying to work my way up to gathering all of that and <laughs> being able to put it, all, put it all away again afterwards. So be on the lookout for that. And I really just am very appreciative for you guys sticking with me through the new year and to say hello to any new subscribers that join my channel. Thank you so much. And I think 2020 is just going to be like a great, wonderful, exciting new year. <laughs> Bye guys.